All right, guys, there's only a few days left if you want to get entered to win our Ram Mega Cab giveaway that we're doing. Every $5 you spend at cboystv.com gets you one entry, and it ends this Sunday, the 14th, at midnight. We just got this thing detailed from top to bottom, inside and out. It looks absolutely amazing. We threw some wider wheels on it, so these are 24s, but we're also throwing in the 20s as well, so you have the option of both. And we just restocked our website and put a bunch of new products on there. So there should be something for everyone, and we're excited to see whose driveway this truck ends up in and the $10,000 into their bank account. Thank you guys and enjoy the video. Alright guys, so a couple months ago we built this mini truck behind me here. So we Hayabusa swapped it, threw new wheels on it, painted it red, and uh, turned it into what we call sexy red. Uh, the thing worked absolutely great until I missed a shift. Oh my. Uh oh and I blew up the drive shaft, and then in return, I broke the wiring harness here. So we brought it back from Florida, and we use this as an opportunity to fix not only what I broke, but also make it better and build it into a bit of a drift build today. We were pretty disappointed with the burnout capabilities of it. Being that the suspension was blown out, there was a ton of wheel hop, so Gavin ended up putting on some traction bars, which aren't quite hooked up yet, but will be. We replaced the suspension, it's got new shocks now. Brand new seats. We we got, of course, a hydraulic e-brake. What do we got here? Steering wheel? wheel. That's fresh. Dude, back to these seats. Evan sent a picture of these in the group chat and Evan just responds, <laughs> kilt. <laughs> <laughs> so being that performance always comes first around here, we figured safety was second or maybe third. So we're gonna actually get a roll cage built in here. So we got these pipes. Gavin's gonna bend them up and build a custom cage. What is the over under if this thing ends up I mean, upside down or on its side? If it does end up on its side, I'm probably gonna cry. Poor Gavin, he's very emotionally attached to this. And I've been telling you, man, and Big Wrench has really been telling you, you can't get attached to can't these builds, attached, man. Yeah. This isn't the place to get good. attached to anything. Yeah. So, <laughs> so Ev, do you not like these seats? They look like a kilt. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? As long as Ken's not the one wearing the kilt. <laughs> See, what we were going for here is like the Porsche seats, you know, and the really nice luxury Porsches. We figured we got to match that to this. This is our version of a Porsche. Yes. It's a poor. <laughs> yeah. Luxury and emphasis on the poor. <laughs> this shit wasn't cheap to build, you kidding me? Right. It is actually disgusting how much money we have into this thing. So let's hope it doesn't end up on its side or upside down today. <laughs> I feel like any good drift build needs a good steering wheel. Mike's already done two of them and his drift car doesn't even run. He's already on his second steering wheel. <laughs> oh, you just wait. Do I get to bring my drift car? So this is a bit of a drift video. So obviously we have Sexy Red, who's gonna be the star of this one. And then following up, Sexy Red is gonna be our Miata. So we'll have the Miata, Sexy Red, and then Mike's piece of junk 350Z, that's LS swap, that doesn't run 95% of the time. So so right now, Gav is making our roll bar for the mini truck here. So he's putting it in the pipe bender here and basically just bending it to fit off the back of the mini truck. Nice. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Trim the bottom a little bit. And should be ready to roll. Hopefully it doesn't <laughs> roll. <laughs> it sounds like it's got a little tick out. Huh? It's got a little tick. That's fine. You don't hear that? No, I do it. It's fine though. Oh. It's good. <laughs> a bit more than last year. This is just the best car. I swear, it's the least expected vehicles that end up just being our favorite. This thing has been through damn near a year of Evan and it's still running. It's That's saying something. Most things don't last 10 minutes. I've only drove it three days, but it's a year's worth of abuse. <laughs> There is a special trick to get them 
Auto Dude. whack. I've been able to do it a few times. Dude, do it. That, that's not right. No, no, no. You you gotta have the right timing, right? Like you, you just keep doing it. No, no, no. Don't hold it. You just gotta keep doing it. And if no, can right. <laughs> just keep doing it. Holy! F you can do it without having to hold it with your hand. It looks a lot cooler when you're not pushing it down. I'm just trying okay, to sit it. on it. Just sit on it. All right, guys. One headlight Miata. <laughs> All right, the mini truck is done. So we got the roll bar mounted here. We couldn't do an actual cage on the inside just because this is a mini truck. We're not working with a ton of cabin space, but we were able to finish up the seats. So we got these plaid seats redone, dash is all painted black, new steering wheel, and then some harnesses, of course, along with the e-brake. So we got a hydraulic e-brake now, so this thing should be able to lock up the rear and slide. These are the shocks that were in it before. You can like basically compress them with, <laughs> with your, your hand. hand. So I mean, it makes sense why, you know, it was hopping all over the place. The thing's gonna be a lumber wagon now. Like it has, Pretty much no suspension, which is what you want when you're drifting, I think. We basically turned a Japanese flower truck into a drift car. All right, finishing touch. I feel like it's only right. Or or this one. <laughs> which one would you do, Evan? <laughs> <laughs> now she's proper. Okay, let's see how she slides. You know some shit's about to go down when everyone starts moving their vehicles around. Get it out of harm's way. Probably fine. It's all gonna be fine, guys. What are you doing? Oh, you did get the wing. That's how he picks up girls in his Miata. He gives them the old wing. You know, it's the lazy <laughs> I know. <laughs> Gosh, dude. I'm pretty concerned about this one. One, because we got so much time into it, I don't want to break it. But two, I don't think this is gonna be the easiest vehicle to like just drift around. The center of gravity and like just the weight distribution on this thing is terrible. If I tip this thing, the whole crew is gonna be like, oh man, but Gav, who put the most time into this, is like actually going to be, be pissed. <laughs> like quit. back tires spinning. Well, let's double check that she works again and then load her up. Oh, well, saw that coming. Let's just flip it over quick before the oil gets everywhere. You good, Ben? Yeah. Oh, no. Well, that's not good. Came in so hot, dude. Is it bad? That was so good. Ouch! Well, the, the paint is surprisingly not that bad. Dude, it looks actually pretty good. Are you okay? Is the question. I'm good, actually. If you're good, like that was nothing. Oh, good. Roll bars there for a reason, and we found out. Yeah, and of, of course, Evan just thinks it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. I think it's the added weight of the roll bar that made it roll. Without the roll bar, she would have just slid. Why did that grab? You came in so fast. I do. Oh my gosh, Fuck. dude! Yeah. I saw that one coming. You I thought was... you were just gonna come and do a little one eighty? Yeah, I was just got too comfortable on that first one. I don't know what happened there. It didn't really take that much damage to it. Like it's a little scratched up, but you'll have that on a drift car. The oh, toughest things are gonna be finding yeah, new no, glass okay. for it. Dude, that was Gosh, just. Dang it. I saw that one coming from a. Well, actually, just the end of the driveway away. <laughs> <laughs> Like that run up, dude. I was like, where's he planning on? You're just gonna do a little 180? Maybe throw some touch up paint on her, throw a new window on it, and then from afar, she'll look okay. It's three months of my life into this bad girl. <laughs> you need to roll it the other way and straighten her roll bar back out. Yeah. It's easier to sweep the driveway than the driveway. And that's why you can't. And that's why you tint your windows, because it's safer. <laughs> At 
just for now. So if you guys aren't familiar with Mike's drift car, every time he turns the key, something seems to break on it. But supposedly, it is now fixed. So Mike's gonna drive his drift car to the track, which is about an hour away. If it makes it to the track, I will be so surprised. <laughs> Mike goes, does anybody have a fire extinguisher? <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing one. Yeah, it's probably not a bad idea. Let that run, passenger. This thing's gonna be my buddy today. All right, fellas, see you at the track. That's a lot of smoke. <laughs> God dang, I'm not I'll, I'll be surprised there's any tires left on that thing after Ben did that. <laughs> That's a pretty good burnout. That was like a minute and a half. The real question is, is Mike going to make it? I'd put my money on no, he won't make it. Dude, that thing's gonna blow. The Miata sounds terrible. You can hear the tick bowling at 40 mile an hour. Might have something to do with being that it's 35 years old and it has had a very hard last year with us. And it also might have something to do with the guy that's driving it right now, always starting up and never letting it warm up and putting the pedal to the floor. Blew it up. I was in fifth cruise and I downshifted by Dalton, gave it a little gas for the roller and literally the oil pressure went to nothing. I'm pretty worried because it seems like I'm next for something. Well, I mean, you're inevitably gonna be next, Mike. Yeah. I mean, you weren't gonna make it to the track whether this thing blew up or not. And now it's like, well, just, might as well just bring the mini truck. You know why it blew up? I vacuumed it. Ah, uh, <laughs> no, Evan changed the oil on it, that's why. <laughs> that's actually oh, incredible. Uh, How much oil was in it when you changed it? Uh, maybe a quart. <laughs> <laughs> it should be three and a half to four, and we had maybe a quart. I feel like, honestly, we're better off just loading mics up at this point. Like, there's probably a 14% chance that it makes it to the track, and I'd at least like to see it on the track. <laughs> <laughs> load it up, load it up. The drifting gods have made this very clear after my crash and Evan blowing up the Miata. I think you're the man for the job today. <laughs> the Miata? Are you serious? Oh, the mini truck. Well, that's what I meant, I meant. <laughs> I got so excited, I don't even know what it's called. Oh, I know, you blacked out there. Let's take one last good look at it because it is not gonna look that pretty in the, in the next 30 minutes. Well, luckily I got the first crash out of the way. So what happened back there? Honestly, it, nothing really happened. It just was has been making a bad noise all morning and then it just turned off. I had so much faith that I was gonna be the one vehicle that Evan couldn't kill. I don't happen. think I killed it. I think Mike killed it during the Dude, I promo. didn't kill it. I don't. I didn't kill it and I don't think I killed it. What are you, you talking? There's no argument that anybody killed it besides for you. <laughs> like, how is this even an argument? There's gotta be someone I can blame around here. <laughs> Micah drove it one time it. four months ago. I'm pretty sure he did something to it. Big Ranch did drive it to the farm this morning to get the, the impact. Might have. Yeah, it's okay, Big so Ranch's big problem. Wrench. Okay, we got one final touch. It's not really a vehicle mod, but it's more of a somebody in the audience mod. Ken? Gosh. We got you a <laughs> We got it's you a kilt. kilt. Dude, that's awesome. What is the point of this? I don't know. When we were when we were putting the interior in, Evan was like, make sure you wear your kilts or something like that. And we were like, well, we gotta get Ken a kilt now. I don't really know. Great. You have me dress up and 
some pretty random things, and this is the most random. <laughs> Being that he's not doing anything but just standing and watching. I, I think it's just a way to show that you're truly supporting the mini truck out here trying to drift. I'm wearing a Scottish dress for a Japanese mini truck. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a whole lot that makes sense here. But then again, neither does everything else we do. Where did you find this? For some reason, Gavin's dad owns a kilt. <laughs> and my dad did say if you don't wear underwear that the kilt is yours. That sounds like an easy way to score a free kilt. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you wear this high or do you wear it low? A little, a little higher, I think. <laughs> the wind blows up. He's a <laughs> This might be my favorite costume or outfit that you've worn yet. <laughs> okay, easy. This, this, is, easy. this is super liberating. Feels <laughs> nice. I can see you wearing one of those every day, Ken. What's no. the big uh, It's so random. It makes zero sense for what we're doing. <laughs> but you look great. We gotta try. Get ready. I think everything's ready. Let's do some drifting. I did not think I was ever gonna get to drive this thing. Like off limits forever. I was hoping that was gonna be the case. Yeah, honestly, I thought that was gonna be the case too. <laughs> Turns out I was just rewarded for blowing up my Miata. <laughs> It was a strange series of events that led to this. All right, couple things to know. She likes to be wound out, which is good for your driving style. Don't downshift from third to second. Doesn't like that. It's easy on the downshift. Make sure that the wheels are spinning or you're high in the RPMs when you go to drift around if you're going above 25 miles per hour. <laughs> What could go wrong? I don't see anything that could go wrong much worse than what I already did. What's the over under? How long? Three minutes. Tell you tips? Yeah. Oh my, oh my god. god. Dude, this is terrifying. Oh. speed drift machine. Did that look sketchy or just feel sketchy? It looks sketchy. Maybe start with some slower speed spins. That was pretty slow. my toes. It's so stressful watching him drive that thing. Woo! Let's go, baby! Let's go! Probably when things are gonna go south now that he's comfortable. I gotta give him some credit. That thing cannot be easy to drift. And he's mad. Man. He's got it down pretty good. Good, dude. That main truck's tougher than nails. Got it. And then he did that. Uh, You're getting it, dude. I almost put it in the rhubarb. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get out of this thing, dude. It's a workout and scary and also the sickest thing ever. Ever, dude. It's the dopest thing ever, bro. It looks so good in that thing. You do too, Ken. Does it look really violent from, from the outside? At first, it looked really, really violent and like you were gonna flip, like even when you were going straight. Does and have then, that feel. like towards the end, though, you look just like another drift car out here. No, now it just feels awkward, dude. The mini truck's doing pretty good, but like, we gotta get a different setup on that so we can tandem. What am I talking about? I don't need a tandem. I'm not good enough for that. If Mike gets out driven by the mini truck today, he's gotta hang it up. My 
favorite part about Mike drifting, why I never want him to stop, is because of his face. Yeah, no, he does have the best facial reaction. You're smoking! It's just a little cooling out the overflow. I think it might be all of it. I mean, it was a matter of time until something went wrong. Honestly, I'm surprised that it lasted this long. Mike's happy, his car's still running. Mike! Oh. Against all odds, buddy. Car's not broken, and you gotta say I looked halfway decent out there. Yeah, you're kidding. Mike, you looked really good, man. I'd almost say you looked pretty decent out there. <laughs> all right, as always, thanks to our friends over at SRD for letting us come and use their drift track as our playground. I think we need one of these at the shop, boys. We need somebody who knows how to lay down asphalt. Preferably. All right guys, the day has come where we are going to pick up a new truck. So as many of you may know, we're giving away our current company vehicle, the Ram 2500 that we're riding in right now. It's one of you guys, so we need something to replace it with. So we're about to pull up to our friends over at Weber Ford in our hometown of Detroit Lakes and uh, hopefully go home with a new truck. Honestly, we love this truck. This is by far the best truck that we've had so far out of uh, the the company vehicles that we have had. We had a High Country Duramax to begin with, and then after that we had the SEMA truck, and then after that we picked up the Mega Cab Ram. And this one has been by far our favorite. With that being said, we wanted to get something that is practical like this, but also has a lot of things that we liked about the SEMA truck, just without all the illegalness of the SEMA truck. <laughs> so, I think we found just that. I can hear the comments already, oh, we don't like the way the front grill looks. To be completely honest, I don't really like the way the front grill looks, but it's not gonna look like this for long. We're gonna make it make it look a little bit snazzier. We're gonna do a little bit of a build on it in this video, so stay tuned to see uh, how it ends up looking after this. But as far as a completely stock vehicle, this thing was by far our favorite. To kind of just switch up from what we had, but also to get into something a little bit different. Going with the white color versus the black, like the last couple that we've had. And uh, what's my favorite is the interior on this thing. So it's got like peanut butter seats, the mocha interior. It's honestly way nicer than we probably need or deserve, but the interior was the selling point on it. I mean, it's no Ram. Now that we got a Ford, I'll probably just get my own Cummins. Let's go get some egg salad and break this puppy in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this new leather smell, we gotta get it out of here. Yeah, seriously, it's not gonna take long with our crew. So the nice thing about this truck is it's got the high output Put motor and out of all the three brands that we drove this one easily had the most power i broke the tires loose two times on the test drive the uh, salesman wasn't loving it <laughs> we're just making sure she works sorry weber <laughs> Test that diff with the one wheel doing all the burnout. Might have to weld that up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, big wrench, get the welder out. I didn't really realize it until I just hopped out, but these wheels are really ugly. <laughs> like, I know we're getting new ones. They're the last thing I should even be looking at, but they're terrible. Can you do one thing for me before you close that door? Say one thing nice about this truck. There's a lot of extra switches up there in case we need them. All right, that's the first nice thing you've said about it. I like that. There we go, we're off to a good start. So per usual, we can't leave anything stock, so we had to hit up our boys over at Custom Offsets. Banker has built every single one of our trucks from actually our very first Duramax, so it only felt right to have him come up here and build this one. So we've already painted a few things just to color match it, like for instance, the front trim pieces, some steps, we did the mirrors, and then my favorite part, the platinum badge black. But we also have a bunch of other parts that we're gonna be putting on that will 
you know, finish the color match look. But then lift, wheels, honestly just a ton of parts. This is probably gonna be our best truck build or the company truck that we've ever had. We're not quite going SEMA truck with it, but uh, it's gonna be a practical daily that is extremely cool. I mean, every every truck that Banker's built for us drove phenomenal. So. It, except for my Raptor for some reason. I don't know why it drives well, a little it, funky. Well, it drove now. good for the first hour. For the first hour until we jumped it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> literally pulled it out of the shop when I was done with it. And went and jumped. Dude, Banker, <laughs> yeah, that's, Banker a, that's the plan with this one. Also, I mean, all the guys at Custom Offsets know their stuff, so like if you order anything from them, they'll make sure it fits and it's gonna all work together, which is really important because you don't want to be rolling around like some of the trucks that uh, we can pop pictures up up right here. Jake's Raptor. He's got wooden wheels. <laughs> he he, he went to the wrong place. So it is kind of funny. This truck has actually divided the crew a little bit. It was like this big debate as far as what kind of work truck we wanted to get, and some people wanted to get another Ram and uh, those that aren't here and some people <laughs> want to get a Ford. The telling factor if this is gonna be a cool truck build or not is if Evan and Ryan like it. Well it's pretty tough to please those two. I took a little creative freedom on the design. Woo! Oh, no way! Custom Seaboys TV. And they light up. That is gonna be so sick. Thank you so much. I love it. That is awesome. Banker's just a gift that keeps on giving. What's right here? What's this? So Ben doesn't even know about these. What is this here? Yeah. What do we got here? So we were talking about painting the 6 7 power stroke badges on the side. Yeah. But they're just gaudy. So I got something to replace those. Okay. Hopefully you like it. No oh. way. <laughs> that is sick. We got a surprise for the rest of the guys. We're gonna sneak on these horn blaster train horns and make this thing even more noxious than it already is. Nice. So some 20 inch Anthem wheels on some 37 tires. A little bit more of a modest setup, but then again, supposed to be a daily truck. The 37s are what's gonna make the biggest difference. Oh my God, dude, it's so much bigger. This thing just looks like a grandpa truck compared to it right now, dude. Lift is on, wheels are on. Now it's kind of just like the aesthetics of it. Probably like 75% of the way there. Oh, that is so sick. Oh my gosh, bro. Now everyone's gonna know it's not an F-350. Ev doesn't like the black tailgate. He thinks it looks Cheeto. Hopefully this helps. This truck is polarizing. Platinum. Ben. All right, here's a real test to see if it's coming along nicely. If it passes Evan's Cheeto test. What do you think of the letter? It looks better than when it was just black, that's for sure. What was the beef with the black? Oh, I was just like, do you guys honestly think it looks good? And everybody's like, yeah, it looks great. And I'm like, are you hallucinating or what? I guess I didn't think it looked like complete shit, but it does look better now. A little piece of life advice to all you people at home, don't surround yourself with yes men. Our buddy Evan is the biggest <laughs> critic of everything we do, so it is nice to get your stamp of approval every once in a while. That's and I don't, I don't want you to change. I think it's important, because who knows what type of Cheeto activity we can get into without you. <laughs> That's true. That's true. You always want somebody with their Cheeto radar on at all times around you. Yeah, I never turn it off. All right, the grill is going on. Like I said, when we picked this thing up, the grill is like the ugliest part of the truck when it was all stock. So. I was very excited to get that thing taken off and swapped out. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, the truck build is officially finished. All right, 
so a quick run through of what we all did to the Ford here. We had a five inch BDS lift put in, along with the 20 by 10 Anthem wheels on some 37 inch Nittos, a custom badges with the lighting of course. Can't forget the Rockwell lights inside the fenders. New front grill, all color matched along with all of the other stuff to make it look the way it does. Blacked out platinum match, and of course the Gen Y boss hitch. This is like the biggest freaking hitch I've ever seen. If you put this on like a Ford Raptor or like a TRX, I think it would squat the truck. <laughs> and then uh, I believe there's one more thing. Oh, that was the other thing. Oh. The train horns. We put train horns underneath it because uh, we had them on the SEMA truck and they were just too fun. Too It'd be fun. a shame not to have them. Oh yeah, and we can't forget the custom Life Wide Open badges. Good? Bad? What do we got going on back here? I think it's pretty pretty darn solid. Hey, there we go. Pretty Thank darn you. solid? That's <laughs> pretty good from Evan. That's, that's like really are, a compliment. Are, are you feeling okay? I think so. Ken, just take the compliment around. Yeah, don't, don't let him try <laughs> to Yeah, don't question. He might go back on well, it. Well, good work, Baker. Now it's time to go jump in. <laughs> let let just me leave it. first. Pretty yeah. visual. Hey, what you need, yeah? Man, I got it, wow. What you say, hey? We about it, uh. Get the cream, yeah? Why you sagging? Why you sagging out the top, boy, you capping? What you need, hey? Yeah.